Hi, everybody. My name is Wendy Robinson, and I'm the Vice President of Student Affairs at Inverhills Community College. Um, and I want to follow up on President Barron's welcome to, um, again, welcome you. We're so glad that you're part of our campus community for this spring term. Um, I am here to tell you a little bit about what to expect um, from the college for the spring semester, um, just recognizing that we are still in the midst of a pandemic and things look a little bit different than they do um, under normal circumstances. When the college began to plan for the spring term, which we started planning for spring last year in the spring, um, you know, we really recognize that we have two primary goals for this semester. One is that we want to keep everybody safe. So we want our students to be safe. We want our faculty, our staff, um, everybody on who's associated with our campus to be safe and protected as much as possible from COVID. We also wanna make sure that this is not a wasted semester. We wanna make sure that this is a semester that allows you to continue moving forward with meeting the goals that you've set for yourself, um, with getting you know, the skills and the um, classes that you need to complete your degree and to get ready to go into the workforce or to transfer to your institution, uh, your next year, four-year institution, whatever your particular goal is. And so we really thought a lot about how do we make sure that we're ensuring those two things um, happen together. I would suspect that for most of you who are in this room, you're looking at a semester where you're primarily taking online classes. Um, about 95% of our classes for the spring semester are gonna be offered online. Um, the 5% of classes that are offered on campus are things that really have um, a high need for actual physical interaction. Um, the joke that I've kind of made a few times is that nobody wants to get their blood drawn by somebody learn who learned how to do that on Zoom. Um, so the classes that we are having on campus are things like um, EMS and paramedic and um, nursing and law enforcement skills where there's a really high need for a hands-on component. Everything else we've really transitioned to online. The good news for students is that we are really good at doing online education. And um, we were doing it before the pandemic started. Um, and we have now had three semesters of really getting even better at how we do it and how we offer those classes. And so um, I feel really confident that students are gonna have a great educational experience, um, whether they're doing the online or the on-campus classes. Um, as President Barrent mentioned, we have a beautiful campus. We love our campus. And we're actually, you know, kind of a little bit annoyingly smug about how pretty our campus is under normal circumstances. So usually we would be really welcoming you to come on campus and wanting you to spend lots of time with us. And as soon as the pandemic is over, we will be back in that smug zone of telling you how great our campus is. Um, but you should know for the spring semester, there's pretty limited availability of services on the physical campus. Um, so if you are a student who is looking for things like advising or counseling or financial aid, um, you're gonna find those online via email or by the phone. The good news is that if you had the ability to log on and be at this session today, you've got the technological skills you need to access those services because it's just gonna be via Zoom as well. Um, but that doesn't mean, online does not mean on your own. Um, so you will still have an assigned advisor. You'll still be able to meet with your advisor one-on-one. -on -one. It's just gonna be via Zoom rather than in their um, too small office where you couldn't do six feet of social distancing. We do have some services that are available on campus, and I do want to make sure I, I note those in case there, there's something that would be helpful for you. Um, if you are a student who needs to use a computer um, or needs to print, we do have a computer lab available on the second floor of the College Center building, um, and that's going to be available during daytime hours, so like 8 to 4.30. Um, if you have a long-term need for technology, so say you, you only have a phone and you don't maybe have a laptop or a Chromebook, we do have Chromebooks available for rent for the spring semester. Um, the rent is free, you just have to sign a usage agreement and promise to return it to us at the end of the semester. We also have a limited number of hotspots available. So if you're somebody who is um, looking for some support with your um, Wi-Fi access, that's something that you can check out as well. Um, you can look on our website under the information technology tab and you can find um, resources about that. You'll also get an email from me the first, um, sorry, the second week of classes with links to some of that information as well. Another area that we do have available on campus is our food pantry. Um, we know that this is a challenging time for a lot of families. So if you are somebody who is struggling with food insecurity um, or just need a little bit of support in that area, um, you can come to the College Center. It's a serve yourself model. Um, so we have non-perishable items available um, over by the advising and counseling area, um, on, again, on the second floor of the College Center building. So pretty much everything that we have is on the second floor of the College Center building this semester, with the exception of the bookstore 
floor, which is open and is on the first floor of the College Center building. Um, I would encourage you, if you do need to get your book still from the bookstore, um, to call in advance and have them pull it from the shelves and they'll have it bagged up so that you can just come in and pick it up and not have to spend too much time um, in that space on campus. Um, finally, I want to note that if you do come to campus, we do have some expectations related to safety. Um, so first of all, we are strictly enforcing mask wearing. So you must have a mask and you must wear it covering your nose the entire time. Um, if for some reason you don't have an, a mask available to you, um, let us know. We'll give you one at the welcome desk um, that we will have the expectation that you'll have on the whole time you're on campus. We also do require everybody who's coming to campus, whether you're a student, a visitor, faculty or staff, to complete a health screening prior to coming to campus. That health screening is available on the homepage of our um, the Inver Hills website. It'll take you maybe a minute to fill out. It's pretty, it's pretty quick. Um, if you forget to do it before you come to campus, there is an iPad where you can do it again, second floor of the College Center building. Um, and that just helps us make sure that um, everybody who's coming onto campus is, is as healthy as they can be and in the event that that that, that status changed that we would have the ability to follow up with folks um, as needed because we do work closely with the Minnesota Department of Health um, in terms of COVID and contact tracing and, and all of that. Um, I So that's a lot of information relatively quickly. <laughs> um, and I know I'm kind of a, a fast talker. Um, the good news is that you this won't be the last time or the, the only time that you hear this information. Like I said, you'll get additional information from us via email in the next couple of weeks. So I encourage you to make sure that you're checking your email. Um, email is the official means of communication from the college. So you want to make sure that you're checking and just kind of paying attention to what we're sending out. Um, it is my sincere hope that we will be able to do this event in person the next time and that we'll be um, glad to show you around our campus and give you, you know, give you a chance to pick up some Starbucks at our cafe, which is unfortunately closed for the spring semester, um, and be able to you know, enjoy hanging out in our student spaces and, and building those connections with other students. Um, but if nothing else, just take away from this, you are not gonna be on your own this semester. We are here for you virtually. Um, your faculty are still excited to get to know you, to be of assistance, to meet with you um, as you have questions. Your advisors wanna meet with you. Student life has some great opportunities to get involved virtually. So it's gonna be a little weirder than it normally would be, um, but we have all been dealing with weird for about a year now. So I know that we are a resilient college and a resilient group of students. And so we're just really excited to have you um, be part of our weird spring semester this year.